in the Rick Vader. So my point is, is we trying to line up what side we on. So we don't need to be giving no energy to the other side. I'll get into that in a few minutes, how this thing actually works. And why, in this book, James Hillman's book, Dreams in the Underworld, he's got a section in here on Hades. And in so many words, Hades is nothing but your deepest subconscious. But he goes in to say, Haiti is the only entity in Greek, which is basically Hades is Osiris, the realm of the dead. They don't need nobody to worship him. I see, you know, that kind of makes sense. If you're the God of the fucking universe, why the hell do I need you to worship me? But then again, on the other hand, the Hebrew book talks about all these particular jewels and emeralds and stuff set in precious stone. So, I've been studying the Rig Veda, and they say that these gods up here. Now, let me get this straight. If there's a god in the universe that did not take on a physical body, that is your fucking enemy. They have to be your enemy because you must understand the fire, in so many words, and let me, let me recap this so people, so, so people who never heard me before can understand this thing. Let me do it in a let me do it in a in a form that you can understand. In so many words, there was this entity that broke away from what is called the uncreate. The uncreate is the mother realm that had it was complete with everything in it that it needed. It had one little flaw in it, and that little flaw was the God figure that you worship now. And he broke away and started this particular world. He stole a piece of light from the great mother to do it. As a result, that light was stolen to him and given to us. That particular light in us is the Luciferian light. Now listen, this is what I'm trying to understand so you can understand something. Let's say that the Christ myth, as Gerald Master tells you, predates the Christian myth of the Christianity. 10,000 years in the, in the written word, you see what I'm saying, and thousands of years in the spoken word. So, if you take something that's 10,000 years old, and bring it up into the Roman era in which we get this political branch of Christianity. It is possible that that which used to be Lucifer, you see what I'm saying? The embodiment is what you know of as Christ. Now let me explain this to you. Alvin Lloyd Kuhn, in his particular information that was banned in the 1940s, um, in his book Lost Light by Alvin Lloyd Kuhn, you can get a lot of his particular information off of the internet. You can download it now because they got all of the articles downloaded. I would suggest do that because you get a better quality. Alvin Boyd Q. In his hmm? Q. K H U N. K U H N Q. Yeah. Alvin Boyd Q. In your book, he said, listen, but that basically in the Conference of Nicaea, they had to limit the amount of time. You saw the word Lucifer in the Bible. You only see Lucifer in Genesis. Lucifer falls like the morning star. Then, 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 then by the time you get the revelation, Jesus said, I, I am the damn morning fucking star. So Alan Boyd and Hugh said that we, they had to, in the conference of Nicaea, they had to limit the amount of times they use the word Lucifer, but by two times, maybe three in the whole Bible, because if they gave the entire origin of it, or they gave you enough scriptures, you could put two and two together and say, hey, wait a minute, Lucifer is Satan. Goddamn. Now, how do we know this? The light, now this is the key, because everybody's had their Christian training. Now, understand this. <laughs> so you can understand this. Christ based on Christianity and also based on Egyptian mythology and any other mythology of the Christ comes in a physical body. Right? Anybody got any problem with that? Christ comes in a physical body. Right? That's the way he came in any mythology you get. He comes in a physical body. So that means Christ has to be a fallen angel. Yeah? Now, the only historical verse where Christ is called light. Right? Oh, the light of the world. Well, they tell you Horus is 
the light of the world in Egypt. So the Christ is legitimate. It's the Jesus thing. In this. You know, that, that makes it historical. We tell you the man 2,000 years ago wasn't no fucking Christ. I can prove that in a damn minute. The Jews knew that shit, and the Muslims knew that. You see, the Romans wanted to front that shit because they was oppressors. Know the difference between Roman politics. Now, in world history, in all eight ancient mythology, the only light that came down from above in the Gnostic mythology as well as the Greek mythology, which is Etruscan, which is Mesopotamian and Babylonian and goes all the way back to pre-dynastic Egypt, the only light that came down was a Luciferian light. Luciferian light is the light that came down into the physical body. If you understand the mythology, try to understand what I'm trying to tell you here. These terminologies, the fallen body means that we're talking about charity. If Christ incarnated into a physical body, then we're talking about the same age-old mythology of Prometheus stealing the light or the serpent going up the tree in the Garden of Eden and type tapping into Darth or the apple and stealing the light and giving it to Adam. It's the same story, just Greek version, Hebrew version. What I'm trying to tell you, the only light that ever came down is the Luciferian light. So therefore, if you have a worldwide organized religion that's teaching you against Lucifer and teaching you of a Christ of Roman politics, you can always be locked into the battle because we're only talking about a battle of the minds. Don't you understand that the only way you can really heal yourself is you tell your body something and your body does it? White man can't heal you. He can patch up real good, but he can't ultimately heal you. A lot of times when you think he healed you is you are convinced that he did it, and your mind tells you you healed because he did it. This is like a sister, like a brother. We used to stay up all night talking about the black struggle and how we got out of this shit. To a four in the morning, we used to wake up in 1990. This nigga come down two weeks ago with T.D. Jakes. I'm like, what the fuck is up with you? He said, T.D. Jakes anointed my wife because she lost two children, and, and she had a baby. I say, you try to understand the science here. T.D. Jakes didn't do shit. <laughs> I said, let me explain the science. I said, your wife is goddamn Mississippi. The only thing your wife knows of as of God is a Christian iconology. Understand the difference between Christian science and some bullshit but the church preach. The energy that she's dealing with comes from a Christian iconology that predates Christianity. So the iconology of the Christ is real, and the anointing, which is basically melanin, alchemical, is real. I say because she don't know nothing about no Osiris, no Yoruba, no Oshun, no Goon, no other shit, no Allah. She's from Mississippi. <laughs> the only programming she got was from a child. So when you try to do all that other stuff, she was down with it, but it wasn't in her subconscious mind. Remember the book of uh, the magician, Philip Cooper? The subconscious mind does not work for you now unless you convince the subconscious mind that it's real. So whenever she came, and T.D. Jakes came, and by the way she was trained in Christianity, the same thing that she would take to just heal herself, when he came, she believed in it so much until the subconscious mind triggered the healing through the system that she was brought up on. That old big fat, stupid ass, funky fat motherfucker didn't do shit. That nigga didn't do shit. She used the avenue in which she was trained. You understand what I'm saying? She was trained to do that. It's a matter of perception. You understand what I'm saying? So the same thing I'm trying to get across to you to get your soul to work, you got to acknowledge what your soul is and what the Christ is. It's not good. Now, this is another part that's going to bake your noodle, as the woman said on the pictures. <laughs> the evil that I'm telling you to, to start dealing with 
is not an evil physically because this is a matrix. You don't just be giving away to us an illusion. You still be in a, in a jailhouse. The evil on what I'm trying to tell you is, is to turn to every evil emotion that you have in the way you look at life, period. You see what I'm saying? By breaking up all laws that you think is divine, because how can it be divine in a motherfucking matrix, which is an illusion? You understand what I'm saying? In the book of the law, they tell you which is the only thing we have of the real Christ. There's other teachings of the Christ that were sent down from generations of sages that got it from the mystical sphere. But the only document that we have of the true Christ, the only one that ever spoke, was not the Roman document, you know, it's the Bible, but it's the book of the law. Because he comes in his original form, Horus. The word Christ only means title, it means anointed one. But the Messiah that you call Messi is Sebek, or also Raheru Kahuti, is Horus, which is the old arcane word that predates any other that other shit before. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about tens of thousands of years. And that document came in 1904. So the real Christ tell you, be against the people, oh, you chosen one. What do they mean by that? Ye are against the people, oh, you chosen. What do they mean by be against the people? He told you the same thing in which, the, with which my man said in the Matrix. He said, these people, you see walking around, and we eventually got the help. They are still a part of that system. And if they are a part of that system, they are to be looked on as the enemy. Didn't Dr. Ben tell you that a damn nigga with no knowledge is a dangerous motherfucker? How many black people got killed because a nigga ain't had no knowledge? Talk of that Jesus shit. And go to the damn enemy running his fucking mouth. That even goes back to slavery. But we're just talking about a person that loves this realm, period. They are the enemy. So the book of law says, ye are against the people. Man, that's so right. That's what the people in New York were saying. Well, man, you know, we conscious now. We still in it. People looking at us like me crazy. I said, because they are your enemy. Not just white people, black people. They're the real enemy because you got a damn God acting like a fucking idiot. You see what I'm saying? Y'all get the concept of what I'm talking about here? It's no, it's no different than being alive and being dead. You woke up now. You see? So, now, the point I'm trying to make here is when you study in its origin, a light descending to the earth is the same as a fall, and that is Luciferian in its nature. It has to fall. You understand what I'm saying? But the concept of the God that is ruling us, he's a living God, which means my point in how I survive is only through you in the physical Realm, which is the jailhouse. Now, what does this mean? You ever heard of the thing that God lives through you? When you believe in Him, He lives. That's exactly what this shit is. The Lucifer realm. Now, let me get into some Rick Vega so you can understand this thing. Cause we, we ain't got much time, but I, I want to get into some stuff right here. Y'all all right? Y'all getting this? I want to get into some Rick Vega. Hindu tradition. The demons, what you call demons, that's what you, you, you train against, sir. The demons is your enemy. Yeah, them demons. You got them demons on you. Cast away them demons. God don't love them demons. You see what I'm saying? The demons are the Asuras, which you are the demons. It's called the Agos demon, which just means serpent. And serpent means what? Kundalini energy. Didn't they say that Lucifer got a fire? That's the first thing they mentioned. They said a fire. And they say our God is an all-consuming fire. That God up there don't have no fire. As a matter of fact, that motherfucker up there is so weak until the white boy got to keep him alive with rituals. We talked about that before. But let me get into this particular science. Then we go into a question and answer, because I want you to answer me on this if you're unsure about this. Don't come to nothing and just walk out and say that nigga crazy when you're in a damn place of learning and science. And we're not here to damn chastise you. We here, we want you to damn get a clarification on this stuff. You done paid $10 to come into some shit. <laughs> Plus, you the damn people that the dog gonna knock your daughter's prophets and say, well, rise up. You, you are the gathering that they're talking about in the Highlander 1 and 2. Now, the demons were before.
before the gods. The demons, this is the Hindu mythology. The demons, see, you just have been trained, just like you've been trained with Satan, as being the demons of some old or low evil shit, you know. The demons were a superior class than the gods. Or the affluence. So all these girls in the what's her name's book, that book is the Hindu myths. This book here by O'Flaherty, 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 O-F-L-A-H-E-R-T-Y. O-F-L-A-H-E-R-T-Y. Book number 1998. Women O'Flaherty, get this one and the Rig Veda. She got, she got a Rig Veda, this same thing, put out by Penguin Books, Penguin Classic. And she has this one. I would suggest the, this Hindu myths because the Rig Veda is, she, she explains to me the Rig Veda, get both of them if you know this. This one is, is excellent. If you say if you're gonna be cheap, like most of all the women buy one book, you know, we can buy anything else and shit. We can buy a deal though for $95. <laughs> if you try to go buy a damn book for 14 and you act like you're trying to buy a fucking damn yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got the money and shit. You can buy a fucking damn cock ring deal though. <laughs> all kind of shit. Thank you, damn white man. For $95 to get the free on. <laughs> Entities. They don't exist, 
but only as your thoughts if you give them power to believe in them. You hear it? He said, I'm the God of the living, and I need you to worship me. Well, he said, that's his main thing. If you worship me, worship me, worship me. Because he understands if you don't worship him, he ceases to live. So what's happened here is we got a perpetual dream that the original great mother, Damians, or Agos Damian, which means genius. If you look up the word Agos Damian, it's the word Greek for genius, or genes, or what you call a gen that you're so scared of. <laughs> they are in a sleep mode. And these particular ones, the gods that you worship in heaven, as far as the archangels and these cherubs, mean this masculine deity. This masculine deity. Those particular ones, they, you, they live through your thoughts if you acknowledge them as being real. That's why you're scared of them now. Oh, I, I wanted this brother telling the truth. You see the secret? Because she keeps talking about the sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Now, I got my ten of these, um, and, and these mythology books on, on the Rig Veda. I'm just giving you one of the better ones. But they all talk about the sacrifice. So what is the sacrifice? Basically, through the minds of your pineal energy, which is all you are, they live. Remember the book? I was telling you about this thing. The gods of Pagan, I used to give out some, and they talk about this um, ancient goddess named Mana Manashu, and she went to sleep, and these other little damn gods came up, and they, they came into her existence. They popped up and started living in her dreams. And, but they only exist and rule the fucking world. And humans, which is Mana Manashu, asleep. They rule through her dreams. So the sacrifice is if you worship these particular gods, you give them power and energy because what is it? It's a battle on the war of energies, carbonical, sapphire, emerald. But if you study alchemy, we're talking about melanin. Your melanin, which they talk about, is Sama. But Sama is a demon. Now, Sama is melanin. Sama in, 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 in India is melanin. They got a plant they call Sama, but, the, but there's a myth that they say it's a plant, it's a god. But Sama is melanin when it's in the god form. But they talk about these damn demons they sacrifice by using the Sama, your melanin. But your melanin is act activated by your mind believing that these motherfuckers exist. And they don't exist in your goddamn mind. You getting this? You are the reality because they say that you came before him. You are a superior class of beings. They got old and went to damn sleep. Meanwhile, these assholes, that's how they are doing it. They have to have you to worship them so that they can survive. Oh, so now you see why the damn government got T.D. Jakes and all these assholes. Uh, that old nigga out there in, in um, uh, what's the name, that old nigga out there? Crap, no dollar. Bishop in his own long dick or whatever. <laughs> but that's all they're doing, professional damn pimps. You see, screwing them women out there, that's all they do. And you worship it. Then you can understand why the government is saying, Jesus, 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 because he is separated to Jesus of you worshiping a physical man, maybe a white man. But even if you turn him black, he's outside of yourself. So you are giving your energy to a deity that don't even exist when it's talking about your fucking ass as the Christ. But you got to direct the energy. But the energy that you have to direct, the power that I'm talking about is the evil power, which is not talking about even when you go around shooting up people. It's talking about the essence of the most severe energy in the damn universe that can kill God. It's nothing but your melanin and how you kill it is like Freddy Krueger. It ceases to exist when your ass don't acknowledge it. So they tell you that this God exists through you and you worship him. You get this particular stuff? This is how it goes down. You see, so, but the gods use the humans, this is in the old flattery science and in the other big Vegas stuff. The gods use the humans to fight against the demons. So how do they do that? Because they have 
so now, I got your ass now. <laughs> told y'all I don't get you. I got you in black and white. Now look at this. I told you that these motherfuckers in these churches, when you talk against yourself, when you talk against Satan or whatever, you talking against yourself. And when you give reverence to this guy, oh, he's so good. Is there any really proof that this motherfucker is so good? You know, people say that, but you know, you program as a child. Can I get a witness? Well, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me some damn witness that he's so damn good. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's just flip the script. What about if you was his ass before him? Now you talking about this nigga good. This is a different class of being. Let's say you was his ass. The ability to create universes. Now I'm gonna fucking talk about you good because you get to go to the mall. Oh, that's a real trade-off, ain't it? You got the ability to create universes that might have a mall on about 10 million, and yet now you get to go to the damn mall to see shit up in there that you can't buy because he favors somebody over you. It's the overseer to keep you out of this shit. You see what I'm saying? You get where I'm coming from, you just from the, 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 the science. So now, in the written thing, it says, because this is, this is old shit, you know, but this is coming from the Black Dravidians. That's their book, the Black Dravidians, but it's also talking about the ones that predate that old, oh, 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 fuck that ass, white ass, oh, in the come over here now, oh, 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 that's a, that's a caste system, motherfucker. I'm talking about the niggas can't get out of India because they blue black. This is their shit, the Rick Vader. They come from Ethiopia. They black and the Ethiopians now, because they all, oh, 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 some of them and stuff is all lighting up too. You see what I'm saying? But that don't matter no business and all. They just take their arms and all that old bullshit. But the point I'm trying to make here is this is the Dravidians, the ancient Kushites, called Indus Kush. This is their shit, because they pre dynastic Egyptians. You getting this? Your book, your book talk about it, Drusilla Dundee Houston book, one of the Ethiopians in the Kushite Empire. Now, they say that the humans fight against the gods, the demons. The gods help the humans fight against the demons. So, in so many words, the gods that's inside of your physical brain in that universe tell you that you're human. And I am Bobby Hemet. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm dead. <laughs> God is almighty and can help him. In return, when the God 
gets the acknowledgement that he does live because he only lives if you give him the power to live in your mind. He in turn heals your ass. He can do that too. Since they created the physical body. You see, by taking some of your melanin and taking it to a certain part and healing it. Because all medicine and shit is inside your body already. The perfect elixir. So he ain't really healing it. He just Taking your, taking your mind and them, directing your shit and all. In return, you go, oh, Lord, you so good to me, you heal me. Oh, you know, oh, you, you know, like I told you, my aunt, she got healed. She got had bad arthritis. And she, she had a dream one that night. Now, she told me in dreaming, and she was doing Jesus. She was saying she had a dream. She went somewhere and all this kind of thing. Yeah. And when she woke up, she, she didn't have arthritis. But by her ass being from Mother in South Carolina, she ain't never heard she had, so it must be Jesus. So the first thing all black ass does, <laughs> 70 years old, this bitch ain't seen the side of a goddamn church. She all in the damn quiet. <laughs> but you know the sad part about it? The sad part about it is, a couple years before that, she was an intellectual. I used to go to her, do this shit here. She'd be like, oh, that's some bad stuff there. I'm going to go to the Library of Congress. I told her, I said, I said, this book, this badass book is out of, out of print. It was a destruction of black civilization before it came back in front in the late 80s. It was out of print in the 80s. I said, she said, oh, I'm going to go to the Library of Congress and get this shit. She was on it. Now, all of a sudden, she was all scared. <laughs> So I say Yahweh and all that type of things, because these are the original 
the sorrow of the star, it says that he is the God of spirits. You see, now, let me explain this to you. She sends the son virtual, just like it. Now, but see, virtual is actually a Christ energy. He, if he's Titan, he'd later on be changed into Satan in Christianity. So now Virtua comes, and these entities up here is scared shitless. Then I notice, I said, oh, okay. You see, in the in the uh, in the in the Rig Veda, his uh, his his crew, see, they have different names. His name is Indra. That's the guy, that's the asshole. The one that created the physical world. But his later, his later, he's Indra, he's just some just some nasty people. Fucking all the women and messing over the, maid, or the men and the, and the humans down here. Real asshole, just like this mug is. But his, his original, he has another name when he created the world called Pastor Johnny. But even when he created the world, this guy named Rudra comes up, which is nothing but the same Christ energy. He's, called, he's also the star Sirius, the dog star, which is also Osiris, Horus, and the whole Egyptian thing. He comes up and this guy begs for his fucking life. And Rudra said, well, the creation of the star, there's not time enough yet. So he goes and creates, falls down here into a physical body and ends up becoming one of us, which is the Christ in us. Same as ours. You getting this stuff? In here, first to come up in this God, the one that you are bowing down now, is scared shitless. He said, I'm so damn scared, I don't know how in the fuck we can damn fight this man. This God. Now, the point what I'm trying to tell you, this is a great day. Do you know that the God in this particular Israel that you call Yahweh, or what you call a God in heaven, heavenly God, heavenly God, you know, <laughs> Now, in that book, Androgynous, 
which uh, Jean, June Sayers book. I don't think you can get this one. It's in print. But you can get uh, See Through the Visible World. Write that down. See Through the Visible World by June J-U-N-E Sanger, S-I-N-G-E-R. But, y'all all right? Am I getting this? Is, is this all right? Okay, and I should have moved this up and showed you this. But it's interesting because in June Sanger's book, she has the, the gates of hell, the black hole, death, darkness of night, darkness of night of the soul, moon of the next time, all that shit falls under the feminine yin. Darkness night, but the day side, the sun, the day, the light, the sun. All the shit that lights up the brain falls up under the masculine deity. So we got a battle going on between the feminine and the masculine. Well, you know that shit happened even on the physical realm. A, 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 a male got to see how fine a motherfucker is with him a PB to do right, right, you know. Because I see some of these goddamn niggas these men be with, these women be with, and I'm like, I can't understand this shit. <laughs> What the fuck? But then again, I'm a man. And I think all of you are kind of ugly to me. You know what I'm saying? Put my point in. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying that the sister don't not attracted to a person that she feels attracted. But I think it's a little more to it than that. I think when you love when she likes and stuff, you got to have a little more to it than that type of thing. You see what I'm saying? I mean, she can go out and she can probably open up her legs and close her eyes and do whatever she is. But I'm saying to really get into the shit and no. all, you'll find out it'll be both when, when you get into the relationship, you'll find out the, the physical stuff mostly fall on the male side. You understand what I'm saying? It'll mostly fall on the damn male side of shit. You know, I'm allowed to have a big gut. You see what I'm saying? So I don't fuck with my damn sister whenever some weight coming on or whatever kind of shit. Because I mean, that's a little bit of shit here. Now, what the fuck y'all must say you need to do some damn weight for it? You know what I'm saying? But I'm out of the matrix. I can understand that shit. You ever see the big old man with a big ass gut? He telling her how fat she is. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> but my point is, is to still talk about the male basically deals with basically the physical aspects, which is talking about he's dealing tap into that particular brain period. You see what I'm saying? The woman is more in or whatever, but you don't know what the fuck she sees in him. You know how that goes. <laughs> now, uh, you know, but, uh, but everything here, the law of yin is the feminine side in the book of what you call it, in, in, in the Tibetan book of the dead, which is also the surahs, which is the fallen ones, or what they call the titans of the fallen ones of the demons. You see what I'm saying? Now, Vetra comes in and he gets all these people to come up and he whips these guys' ass. They finally defeat him. But what happens, well, what happens is this. They finally defeat him. Because the time cycle is not right. He has the energy, enough to terrorize him, but he doesn't have the energy of the end time, which is now. So your soul was not strong enough to fight off the physical because the physical was still in its younger state. It's like anything else. You know, you get the pig out of it. The doctor said, well, you just got to let that shit run its course. <clears throat> well, it's anything. That's like anything that comes into a law, it's got to run its course. So the physical realm, ultimately, was still young enough to fight back this particular energy. You understand where I'm coming from? Now, so he couldn't fight it all. But he kicks ass a whole lot until they subdue him, virtually, same our souls, basically. Because he's, he, he's always a dragon. He's always a dragon. And whenever you hear the word dragon, that's the kundalini energy and the fire. But in that something, that's something, the fighting in man is what you call the Christ. You get it? So she fight, they fight him off. What happens here? Before he dies, he said, well, there's one thing that you all got to realize. Death's going to come to all of you all, because death is the ultimate energy. And in so many words, he is the god of death, too. So when the physical god say, I am the god of the living and not the dead, or I am the living god, he only means that he only lives through you living physically. You see what I'm saying? But the god of the dead is a whole other entity, but then again, the God of the dead is also the subconscious mind. And the God of the dead is the pineal gland, which is the Lucifer buried under the world. The world is the physical brain. You see what I'm saying? It's the physical brain. Y'all getting this? Okay. How much time we got? Hour and a half. Let me finish up some things here. We're going to go into a, a question and answer. Let me go into a question and answer. You know, this is 
damn shame. I didn't even, I didn't even begin to even to get all this stuff here. But let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead. I got some stuff that I need to deal with.
than the fish. For all that, it was not so popular in the primitive Christianity. They have, see, here's, here's a, the, the, the real deal how the white boy can double talk. Like he got history, then he got prehistory. He got Christianity that all the idiots thinking that Jesus invented. Then he got what is called primitive Christianity. Now what the fuck is primitive Christianity? But when the ship was the Gnostic people that they killed off and took their religion. That's what happened. You have some people called Gnostics in the damn Romans plagiarized their shit, changed it around to a political thing, and then killed off all these damn people that took these black people's shit. They come out of Alexandria, Egypt, and then make it a historical man running around with a damn fucking die bone and a fucking wooden cross and some shit like that. You don't need that shit. So, the, the, now, the comparison with the Christ with the serpent, now here it is again. The serpent is all what Christianity and all the major world religions say is evil. Now, Jung, in his books, give you the comparison of the Christ and the serpent is more authentic than the fish. For it was worshipped by the primitive Christians. Those are your Gnostics. Comes out of Alexandria, Egypt, or Kemet, and they spoke Coptic. And Coptic is later day Egyptian. The Gnostics favored it because it was the old established symbol for good genius, the Loki. Oh, uh, you get the, lo the Logos. You ever heard Christ is the Logos? The Logos is the serpent. The Loki or the Logos, the Agos demon. And also, they believe it was also called Nuus. A Nuus, a Noah, which is talking about the mind. The serpent is the lowest devil and the highest son of God, Logos, Nuus, Agodemus, Agodema. Also a God, which means inner mind and inner world. This Agodemon is later becomes Azazel. That's what that's why he was a black man. That's why damn Denzel them, them played his ass. You know, Azazel is nothing but the Kundalini Samuel, the serpent that goes up the tree in the Garden of Eden. It's called Samuel, the venom of God. Melanin is called the venom of God. Because it'll kill God ass too. Agos demon, the snake, is the cathartic fertility demon akin to the genius of the hero of the Heru Christ. The serpent is also called the prima materia. And the prima materia in uh, the prima materia in uh, in Latin is called the negrito. In Greek, it's called melanosis. This is what the Christ thing is. It's called melanosis. Melanosis. Now look, uh, bear with me. Y'all all right? Okay. Okay. The prima materia. The serpent of Hermes, which is Tahuti, which he is Hermes sent from the king Anthos. This is all some stuff from ancient scriptures. The serpent of Hermes is also the serpent of Moses, because Hermes and Moses is one and the same. You got a historical Moses, which is a high priest, a traitor priest from, from, from the priesthood of Amon Ra. But all the stuff attributed to him as far as his staff and the part in the Red Sea and all that shit comes from fucking Tahuti. You see what I'm saying? If you take it back to that particular point. So the Red Sea, ain't no more, the Red Sea is the Kundalini rising up. The, if you look in the blood vessels in the back of your back, you'll see these red blood vessels. When, when, the, when the fire rises up the spine of the red blood vessels, that parts the damn Red Sea into the promised land, the fucking pineal gland. Nothing about some damn Jews running around and parting some old shit in the Red Sea. All that lying shit. Y'all grown people still believe in that bullshit. Jonah being swallowed, swallowed up by a fish is talking about man being swallowed up by a physical realm. The fall, man, the, the flood is nothing but your physical, your, your spiritual body was flooded over with the physical body. So now, let's go on. Uh, the newest is also called, the Agodemus, the newest also animates the cold part of nature, that is the unconscious soul. The stone, this is the point I want to get to. In the book, The Hermetic Museum, The Hermetic Museum, they talk about a philosopher's stone, but they also identify a philosopher's stone in the section in this book called, this book is like um, $39, $29, and it's back in print and hardback now. Uh, in this book called the, uh, it's, there's a book called the Soviet, the Soviet Hydrolith, Hydrolith. Hydro means water. And the Soviet hydro means stone of water. 
And they go in and talk about the philosopher's stone, which is the pineal gland. But they also in this book say that the philosopher's stone is our Lord Jesus Christ. See, even the word Jesus Christ is not really a bad word because the word Jesus comes from the word Jesus, Zeus, and Zeus is called a demiurge in the physical realm. So Jesus represents the physical body. Christ is on the inside, represents the soul. So Jesus Christ is actually an adequate word if you don't take it as a person that Jesus is your physical body and that Christ is your soul. So when they say that the stone of water, which is an alchemy called a philosopher stone, is our Lord Jesus Christ, they tell you that they also talk about, is talking about that Jesus Christ or the Christ is nothing but the pineal man. So the stone is also called the demon. The demon of protective power. Excuse me, I get so I gotta slow down and read this thing right. The demon of procreative power is also a stone called Herma. Hermes to Hudi was the was the primeval image of the Greek god Hermes, Anubis, also is a form of that in Egypt. Melanin as a stone, he guards the, the gates of the house and the court. So in the whole court thing, when you go to court, the shit is nothing but a ritual also of the body. Well, let's go on. A genius can be also associated with the collective. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going apart. The snake is the the snake is the agos daemon. So let's put it this way. Remember, I told you at first that if you take the Roman Jesus and take him out of the picture, and I said that this thing predates him ten thousand years. If you go back to 10,000 years, he's called the Agos Daemon. And that's the Daemon means fallen. But also, but Agos means inner. Agos Daemon means the inner Daemon, but that is later on called Satan. You getting this? So if you trace the Jesus myth back thousands of years, even in Egypt it's called the Agos Daemon. Now if you get into Tehuti's material, they say Agos Daemon was first, and then Tehuti was the second Hermes. But even they connect Osiris with the Agos Daemon. So the Agos Daemon is basically the serpent, the Kundalini, the serpent in the Garden of Eden. You see, the snake, the Agos Daemon, which is called the genius. The genius can also be associated with, collected with the collective bodies, such as the college or city. Or city. So in so many words, what they're saying is, is this. You have inside of your body a collective consciousness, which is this whole melody realm comes together. And when it comes together, it's called the college or the senate. So that's all forms of government. So the real college is in your head. Remember, I have detailed files, and I told you that the melody is also the detailed files. But well, they tell you this in this particular material, all coming from clinical psychology of you. Also, too. It's also called the Invisible College. The Christian guardian angel is a con counterpart to the genius, which means that this particular staff of Tahuti, that they call the Agos Daemon, the Christian guardian angel comes from that. The guardian angel is not but your inside genius. But the wings of the angel ultimately derive from the wings of Hermes or the staff of Tahuti, or as you know it, the staff of Moses. The Agos Damien of this particular stone is also called dead people in one's head. Now let's get to a part of what they mean by this and we're going to want a question and answer. Remember I told you that these particular entities stay in power by getting you to believe in them and by getting you to believe in them is also believing in the matrix because your relationship to them is your human nature and you basically you behave and all this kind of stuff and you, and you believe in them and all that kind of bullshit. And so in so many words, you keep this world in order based on moralistic, uh, fundamentalistic religion. But uh, I also told you that uh, they're using our people to do it as we worship them. So some of you are saying, well, damn, Jesus is king now on the planet, especially when it comes to black people. You know, with T.D. Jakes coming and drawing 104,000 people, and that ain't including corrupt old dollar and Bishop Eddie Long. And then they say they got some other nigga bigger than T.D. Jakes out here. Somebody saying he's three times bigger than that. No. So you're thinking that Jesus is king, but it ain't got nothing to do with them niggas out there, the dead people. It has something to do with you. Remember in the movie, The Matrix was only about a couple of them on the other side? 
So what it is, is it's the only thing you got to understand is they talked about a gathering in the United States of masters, and that's the ones that came into this particular consciousness now. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, you don't have to worry about them because they dead in the doggone way. And so, and, and, and to the point where these demons or these particular entities, there's a part where death is going to come to them, whereas that shit don't even work for them. They just hanging on by a thread. They just getting a little bit of energy, but they hanging on by a thread. They, they ain't even in control of the damn seasons now. That's why I say I believe that white boy made that earthquake over there because it happened to happen in the damn summer solstice, I know. And he does shit like that. You see what I'm saying? And look for something big throughout September and the rest of August. We're going to have something else big. Somebody's going to do something real messed up. 